Wouldn't it be great if you could enjoy a mouth-watering dessert at Thanksgiving without having to wear yoga pants? Today I share a yummy solution to keep you in your skinny jeans this holiday. Hey, it's Kim Castle. You're watching Kim TV where you discover how to live agelessly. My favorite holiday of the year? Thanksgiving. Though as a child, it was hell. I was one of those kids that I, I didn't like my food to touch. Now it can. So if you have one of them at home, I'm proof that they grow up normal. I love the flavors of Thanksgiving, so I tend to go a bit overboard. My inner Martha starts demanding perfection, and before I know it, I'm stressed out from my maple-infused turkey to my cranberry-soaked trifle. Ah! And after eating such a beautiful meal, I layer on dessert, and before I know it, I'm irritable and I feel like crap. It's a recipe for family feud. It's not Uncle Jerry's fault. It's the sugar, the gluten, on top of the tryptophan from the turkey. And now I start planning my Thanksgiving meal by choosing a dessert first. Doesn't everyone? This year I spent about six hours searching through recipes on Pinterest and I came up with three solid contenders. I drilled into the recipes. I looked at what I could do to swap out the unhealthy ingredients for the healthy ones, namely replacing regular flour with gluten-free blends or almond or even coconut flour. Either give you the texture that you need for dessert, but with the added bonus of protein, healthy fats, and fiber. I look for ways that I can remove the refined sugar and replace it with something that's less like crack. You do know that sugar affects your brain in the same way cocaine does, right? The trick is to make a sugar switch without losing the taste. And finally, I look for a dessert that will look great, taste great, and can be made healthier. Tray important to moi. I came up with ginger pumpkin mini cheesecakes with spiced whipped cream. Get the full recipe and other goodies at kimcastle.com. Now, I know that Martha would not approve of me using canned pumpkin, so I grew my own. Yes, it's a constant battle. What makes these mini cheesecakes so easy is using store-bought gluten-free ginger snap cookies. Now, I really love these because these are from Trader Joe's. They have a really gingery kick. It provides a great contrast to the smoothness of the pumpkin. Now, the only drawback with these is they do have some sugar, but I figured a little crack won't hurt you. Just a little bit. If Martha was winning this war, I would have made them from scratch too, but I have to draw the line somewhere. I subbed out the wheat flour for a gluten-free baking blend that I made myself, but you could easily, easily use a multi-purpose gluten-free blend. I've included a link in the description below for the brand that I use when I don't have the supplies to make it myself. I also subbed out the refined sugar with granulated urethritol, which is made from sugar alcohol. While it's sweet to taste, it's not processed by the body, so it has negligible calories and it doesn't spike your insulin levels. I also replaced agave with yacon syrup. Contrary to popular misconceptions, agave, not as good as you would think. It has major calories and it spikes your insulin. I prefer yacon. It's a sweetener made from the tuber grown in South America. While its taste and its sweetening is more subtle than agave, it's high in potassium and low in calories, so the trade-off is worth it. Now, I've been using Yacon for a few years and it used to be very hard to get, only like online specialty retailers. But since Dr. Oz mentioned it on his show, you can find it on Amazon. But not all Yacon is created equal, so I included a link to the brand that I recommend in the description below. Finally, what I really like about this recipe is it's easy to make small individual servings and it doesn't have to touch anything and there's no sneaking leftover pie while you're washing the dishes. Thought I wasn't looking, right? They're small enough to enjoy after a large meal and impressive enough to command the, you're so amazing and I don't know how you do it all. A woman's gotta get her thrills where she can. To cut down on the turkey day stress, you can even make these a day before, store them in the refrigerator and garnish with a dollop of cinnamon spiked whipped cream right before you serve them. Just make sure you make a few extras. These have a tendency to go missing go. Made like this. Easy. Dollop with some whipped cream. And then you can sprinkle a little bit of chopped crumbs from the ginger snaps. Let's see how they turned out. 
Oh my God. Can you, I wish you could taste it from there. Oh my God. We can stop shooting now because I'm just going to eat this. I don't know what it is, but I get such a pleasure when I watch people enjoy desserts like this and they're shocked that they're not loaded with sugar. Kind of like when you get a compliment on a dress that you bought at TJ Maxx, right? The quality of your life is directly connected to the food you eat. That's especially true at Thanksgiving. So you want to impress your family and friends with these ginger pumpkin mini cheesecakes this Thanksgiving? Go to KimCastle.com to get the recipe. So what's your favorite part of Thanksgiving? Tell me all about it in the comments below or tweet me at Kim Castle, hashtag Thanksgiving fave. Thank you so much for inviting me into your life today. Every week I share tips, recipes, and answers that I discover on the anti-aging road back to vitality, energy, and feeling your best. So if you enjoyed this today, please let me know and share Kim TV whoop, with a woman that you love. Till next time, live life on full of pumpkin cheesecake. And if you're new here, it's so nice to meet you. If you're old school and you want a full-size dessert this Thanksgiving, check out my salted caramel pumpkin cheesecake video. It's also gluten and refined sugar-free, but watch out. You'll have leftovers that will tempt you while you clean up the kitchen. And while you're watching that video, please subscribe to Kim TV on YouTube, but only if you want to know how to look good and feel younger. And while you're at it, click on the little gear and check send me updates and you will be notified every time that I share a new video, like magic.